Hello, Shane Barrett from Land Power Australia. Welcome to the launch of Class Axion 900TT, codename ONTRACK. Tonight, we're releasing the new thoroughbred of the class stable, the Class Axion TerraTrack. With ongoing success of 900 series over the past 10 years, now combined Lexion track system, we have a machine that has it all. This has given us the biggest opportunity to have a winning DNA, just like Might and Power, champion racehorse. This machine has got the bloodline of a great winner. I'd like to introduce you to Julian Colmeyer from Class Country Sales Manager, Oceana. Julian will take us through the history of Class tractors. He'll also tell us about the progress of the Axion Terra Track around the world. Over to you, Julian. Yeah, thank you, Shane. Thanks a lot for having me here tonight. So Julian, when did the history start? Can you give us some insight, please? Absolutely, Shane. So Class has actually a very long history with TerraTrack systems, or with crawl technology systems anyway. Um, we started back then in 1960s when we put the first uh, track system on a combine to be able to harvest uh, rice in very wet paddocks. Yeah? However, then 30 years ago, we started a dedicated project which uh, of this uh, product, which we know today as a TerraTrack. And um, yeah, gained a lot of experience since then. And uh, the main focus of TerraTrack back then was really to minimize uh, um, the pressure on the soil and protect the soil from, from any, um, any heavy uh, load, loaded machines. Yeah? And the secret of, of TerraTrack is the multi-pass effect. Yeah? So it's just enlarging uh, the surface area that is basically touched by a machine to um, yeah, minimize the pressure, obviously. Yeah? And uh, TerraTrax um, are uh, designed and uh, produced by our um, class subsidiary, which we call uh, class industrial technique. Mm -hmm. And um, they are doing the, the design, the, um, the production, but not also of the, uh, just of the TerraTrack, but also of uh, axles that we uh, have in the combine, gearboxes that we find in the tractors, and uh, lots of hydraulic components that you find in in all of those machines. So what's the meaning of the TerraTrack? So the meaning of the TerraTrack, um, we, 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 when we started with the project and we designed uh, the TerraTrack itself, we really looked on the, the customer needs and what uh, the customer needs to benefit from. Yeah? So the target, as I said before, was to minimize the, the compaction, the yes. soil compaction. And um, uh, for an agri agriculture business today, what really um, counts is the performance and is the efficiency. Yeah? So, so a farmer has to get the, the job done in a, in a certain time, hence why he needs uh, heavy and, and uh, strong machines, but also needs to uh, get the job uh, done at a, at a certain time, mm -hmm. um, which you uh, sometimes find different uh, circumstances that are maybe not always ideal to enter, enter the field. Yeah? So that was really um, yeah, one of the uh, key points of, of the TerraTrack to protect the soil um, by, uh, from heavy machines and to protect the soil when you sometimes have to uh, find yourself in a paddock that is not 100% um, workable. Yeah? And TerraTrack, um, we have a lot of experience already from our uh, Lexion mm -hmm. that we know today. And it's actually uh, quite often a decision maker for a customer uh, to buy a Lexion uh, instead of another um, uh, competitor's machine. Yeah? So why not taking uh, this technology and using it for other operations or even other machines? How does the TerraTrack fit into a tractor design? Yeah, Shane, though, um, we, uh, what we see behind us, we have an Axion 900 uh, as a base, yeah? and we um, introduced that tractor in uh, 2011. And it was the first standard tractor that were um, above 400 horsepower, yeah? and uh, the machine is utilizing a, a CVT gearbox yes. and is utilizing an 8.7 liter FPT uh, engine. Yeah? And we know this tractor for its performance, for its uh, fuel or low fuel consumption, and for its reliability. Mm -hmm. yeah? However, with this uh, machine with more than 400 horsepower, we really bring um, the tires to its limit to transfer the, um, the traction itself. Yeah. 
Um, so that's why we had to look for different solutions. And well, the TerraTrack was, was the, uh, apparently the perfect solution for it. However, having a tractor and having a TerraTrack system that was initially designed for a combine, it's not just plug and play, you have to know, because um, we had to um, make dedicated engineering on the track unit itself to yes. transfer the power, um, to transfer the torque, and also to cope with the different load uh, spectrums that are certainly different from a combine than what we um, basically need uh, for a tractor. Yeah, right. if, you, if you have a 40 ton uh, combine driving up the hill, it uses power and it transfers power. But if you're carrying or if you're having a, a cultivator behind your tractor and you're having 12 hours of cultivator in the ground doing full uh, power uh, pulling performance, that's definitely a different uh, load on the track unit mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. As well, then we had to change um, the rear axle on the tractor to um, yeah, make it um, suitable for the track unit. Mm -hmm. And also by having uh, the big tires um, removed from the tractor, we were able to fit a bigger fuel tank, which is around 860 liters today, and really takes you easily to a 12 hour shift. Right. So what's special about the concept of the half track? So for the concept, uh, what we call um, half track, as you said, it's really, um, yeah, again here, the, the, the major um, objective was to protect the soil. Yeah? And with the uh, track unit that we have on the tractor today, we actually have a bigger footprint of around 35% than what you know from a, um, from a usual tire. Yeah, and then also what makes us different uh, for a half track in comparison to a normal uh, full track tractor, uh, what, what, we, what we know in the market as well, is that we have a pivoting point mm -hmm. of the track unit and we have a very even load distribution across the whole track. Right. Yeah, so even in hilly conditions or when, when the um, force changes at the that the uh, tractor has to pull, you don't have this pitching effect. Yeah? So you have an even um, distribution of the, of, the, uh, of the weight to the ground. Yeah? So that's really an, an advantage what we see of the, um, of the half track concept, but also the efficiency. Yeah? If we uh, seeing the uh, track unit in comparison to a, a wheel machine, yeah? you always have the highest possible traction to the ground. Yeah? So you increase really the efficiency by having the track unit always geared with the soil. Yeah. So it really yeah, makes, a, makes a difference uh, to itself. And what is also uh, not uh, left out is that you don't have to adjust your tire pressure anymore. <laughs> yeah, because this is always different operations, different soil conditions, you should always uh, change the tire pressures, which in, in fact no one is doing like uh, multiple yes. times per day. Yeah. Then last but not least, um, it's comfort. Yeah, we really have a fully f a suspended tractor, the first really fully suspended tractor on the market. And we also call it actually flying carpet yeah, because it flies over the, over, over the fields. Yeah. And comfort is key. Yeah, comfort is absolutely the key for an operator. It makes, him, uh, it, makes it possible for him to operate easy uh, over 12 hours a day and he doesn't feel fatigue afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, actually, uh, comfort doesn't end with the operator. Comfort is for us as well to have the machine working comfortable. Yeah? And as uh, the more early you take the vibrations out of, out of the whole unit, um, the more reward you get in longevity, not just with the tractor, but also with every, um, with every impl implement you might pull. So with all this information, do you have any feedback from other markets? Yeah, absolutely, Shane. So as you know, we have the Axion uh, TerraTrack already running for around two years in, in, in Europe, but also in, in America. And yeah, the machine has really proven itself. Yeah, we have many happy, satisfied customers, and they have used the machine all in different uh, operations. Yeah, if you look to Denmark, where they had a, a 12 uh, furrow uh, plow on, on the rear doing on-land on plowing, or if you look to uh, Netherlands, where they do a lot of manure spreading in wet conditions, in wet fields, where you go also at a faster speed and also have a lot of road transport as well. Or if we look on, on, on North America, for example, yeah, we have machines running there in row crop uh, applications, which 
actually the the tire track system is also perfectly built uh, built for yeah well shane we have talked a lot about um europe now a lot about north america but i'm really quite excited for our customers down here in australia to um, experience this machine soon as well well julian you'll have to wait and see will do thanks julian for that insight into the axion and TerraTrack concept from what you've just described we are well positioned to take australian farmers on a new and exciting journey with this thoroughbred we're going to show you. Slim body, efficient power to the ground. We are not the Clydesdale of yesteryear. We are lean, fast and powerful. In all this talk of the new horse, have you seen it? Well, I have, haven't seen it tonight. Come to think of it, I haven't seen James either. The Axion 960TT, with over 500 hours completed across Australia in a variety of settings with great success and customer feedback. Some insights of the evaluation have been the size and variety of implements that we're able to utilise, Vertistat top down, Seedhawk icon bar, trailed spreaders, Grizzly offset disc up to 76 plate, 36 ton chaser bin, 12 metre Gessner chisel plough, trailed sprays, and TTQ Raptor Ripper, just to name a few. Every customer has been amazed with the track having little to no heat, and this goes across the whole track unit even when travelling between farms on hot days. For example, 38 degrees for a distance over 125 kilometres. Other parts of the evaluation we were able to compare are traction, fuel usage, manoeuvrability and comfort. People frequently commented on how quiet and comfortable and powerful the tractor is. We have compared the TerraTrack with the likes of a Case STX 425 articulated four-wheel drive with 710 joules pulling a 12 metre speed tiller. We were able to compare 120% engine load on the STX versus 100% on the Axion TT. Fuel consumption was 30 litres less per hour, 8% less wheel slip, and the speed was equal at 8.5 to 10 kilometres an hour, while the Axion TT being 6 tonne lighter. We had customers from other brands driving and commenting on how low the engine RPM is whilst maintaining high torque and traction to the ground, and the ride being second to none. We went head to head with John Deere 9520R articulated four wheel drive on 1100 LSW tyres pulling a TTQ Raptor Ripper and were able to compare with great results. Fuel consumption was 30 litres an hour less whilst operating at 5 to 6 kilometres an hour with less than half the amount of wheel slip. Both evaluation tractors will now become demonstration units to continue running one east and one west. With the program, dare to compare with more opportunity to show off and prove this winning combination. 
With all that said, I'd like to pass it over to James Harrison, Tractor Product Specialist. Come on down, James. James will run through the specs and features in a walk around. Over to you, mate. Thanks for the introduction, Shane. I'd just like to start with a bit more history around the Class Axion. Class developed the Axion back in 2006 with the Axion 800 series. The main objectives when developing this tractor were comfort and convenience for the user, combined with high performance and low fuel consumption. And we have this in the tractor we have here today. The Axion TerraTrack has been built around two proven concepts. The Axion 900 wheel tractor that we know today, and the TerraTrack system, which Class have been perfecting for the past 25 years. With this tractor, we get increased versatility. We have the advantages of the wheels at the front with the benefits of the TerraTrack unit at the rear. Let's have a closer look around the machine. As you can see here on this machine, we have the fully integrated 6.5 tonne suspended front linkage. James, how much weight we've got up front? Good question, Shane. From the extensive field testing that Class have done, they have found no benefit of adding any more than 1,200 kilos to the front of these machines. So we've got 1,200 kilos on this machine, Shane. We also have the option of fitting a front PTO disc to this machine, along with two front hydraulic spool valves. On the side here, we have external controls for both front linkage and spool valves for safe, convenient attachment of your front implements. Standard on these tractors is the suspended HD front axle for increased ride comfort. This tractor is fitted with the largest tire option available, the 710-60R34 tires. Even on these big tires, we can still achieve a turning circle comparable to that of a wheeled tractor. We have two models of Axion TerraTrack available, the Axion 930TT with 355 horsepower and the Axion 960 we have here with 445 horsepower. Both of these models are using the proven Stage 5 8.7 litre FPT engine. Like with all Axions, we're still maintaining the low speed, high torque concept with this machine here boasting a massive 1860 newton meters of torque, at only 1400 RPM. Daily maintenance is made easy with the one piece bonnet and great accessibility to the air filter. Cleaning the radiators is also made easy with the fold away, the fold away radiators. Both TerraTrack machines are using a ZF continuously variable transmission, which delivers efficient power to the ground with a speed range of 0.05 kilometers to 45 kilometers an hour. This makes the machine an all-rounder, both in the paddock and on the road. There are three virtual speed bands, which offer simple, fast and precise adjustments, ensuring the right speed at all times without any awkward gear shifting. Moving on to the steps here. We've got safe and easy access into the wide operator's platform. We have a conveniently located toolbox mounted within the steps. We also have convenient 12 volt accessory plug here mounted within the steps. Up here, we can see the four point cab suspension, which class have been using on their tractors since 2003. This machine is also fitted with an onboard air compressor with an outlet located just here on the steps. Moving into the TerraTrack unit itself, we have two belt widths available, 635 and 735 mil. This particular machine is fitted with the 735 mil option. We do have a row crop option coming for 2022, which will be a 457 mil option. The overall belt length is, remains the same that we know on the Lexian today. But as you'll notice, the drive wheel is increased over that of the Lexion. The reason for this is for increased traction, to increase the contact area around that drive wheel. You can notice here the design of the drive wheel. This has been designed to be self-cleaning and to reduce heat buildup within the track unit itself. As we've said before, the TerraTrack unit is a fully suspended track unit. Therefore, we have 120 mil of travel within the suspension unit. And we also have the ability to adjust that manually from the cab. This gives us the added benefit of being able to adjust our drawbar height to attach to any implements we want to attach to. 
To maintain ground contact, we have track articulation, plus eight mil to negative 15 mil to ensure the track is always on, in contact with the ground. So James, what does this mean for the end customer? So Shane, this means 15% more tractive power, 35% increased footprint, with 50% reduced compaction. So a 100% benefit for the customer. Coming around to the rear of the machine, we can see here the fuel tank, which boasts an impressive 860 litres, which is more than enough capacity to complete a 12 hour shift. We also have rear linkage controls, rear spool controls, which are assignable for any individual remote, and also external PTO control buttons. We have here a Cat4 rear linkage, which boasts an impressive 11 tonne lift capacity. These tractors have a 220 litre a minute load sense hydraulic system with power beyond and up to six remotes. A standard feature is hydraulic trailer brakes. And this machine here has the optional pneumatic air brakes. You may have noticed the auto grease unit up here. This unit is supplying grease to both TerraTrack units. Let's jump into the cab and take a closer look. Now we're in the cab of the Axiom TerraTrack. We continue with the large, spacious four-post cab, which we have in the current wheel tractor. This gives us excellent visibility with the four-post cab, and the rear convex window gives us excellent visibility when working with rear implements. The TerraTrack now gets the new 12-inch Cbus Touch Terminal, which now has the ISO UT function. As I mentioned before, we can adjust the ride height of the TerraTrack, altering the height of the drawbar when coupling up to implements. And we do that in this screen here. Also, I mentioned how we can achieve the same turning circle as a wheel tractor. This is achieved with the steering assist setting, which is independently braking the track units when turning. CMOS has been on class tractors now for the past year and has recently been released for the TerraTrack tractor, which we have on this unit here. We continue with the C-Motion control lever, which has 10 programmable function buttons, which can be assigned to any function of your choice. Like on all Axion tractors, we can steer with any third-party steering system.
Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.